Hello everyone, we are going to have another video of Turkish language lessons and in this video we are going to learn how to say when in Turkish. First I'm going to uh, give you the formula of this structure and then through the examples you will understand how it works. I hope you follow until the end of video because uh, the more examples you see it will help you uh, to work on this subject for the first and last time so try to finish the uh, video till the end okay let's go through the lesson actually uh, we're going to learn these three phrases like when something happens or whenever something happens the moment that something happens okay so first we have the plural form of the first person past form of the verb then we have the conjugation suffix and we have de or da based on the harmony of vowels, based on the last syllable of the suffix we have here. And it's going to uh, mean like uh, when the subject does something blah blah blah. Again we have the verb in plural first person past form and the conjugation suffix, and we have the word zaman. And it will mean the time that, or whenever uh, the subject does something, something, or every time that happens, actually. So the next one, Again, the same formula after the conjugation, we're going to have on the. On means moment. Da, you know, it means in the. So here we have the moment that the subject does something. And the sentence go on, goes on. Let's go through the examples. You will understand it better. So we have yaptık and we have the conjugation form of the first person here and we have da. In order to join these two, the verb, sorry, the uh, consonant of k is going to change to r. And it is going to form like this. Yaptığımda. And it means when I did it. Like the time I did it. Or we have uyuduk. The conjugation. And da. And we are going to mix these two, change the k to g, and it becomes uyuduğumda. It means when I sleep, uh, when I slept, or when I sleep. Something that you are going to realize is that uh, when we are uh, using these time clauses. Uh, these time clauses uh, are not uh, specified with the tense of the rest of the sentence. So when this kind of clause is defining a situation of, hap of uh, something happening, um, it doesn't depend on the tense of the sentence. So the same here, the same uh, word here can mean 
uh, a structure in simple present. I have translated it to simple past here, but uh, through the example, through more examples and through the um, more examples you will see in like real life in Turkey or in books or the text that you're reading, you will see that the tense actually uh, is not important, whether it is in present or in the past or even in the future. It just um, emphasizes that uh, something has happened at a certain time of the rest of the sentence. Okay, let's go through the other example. Here we have uyandık means we woke up. Uyandık. Uyandık um plus da. And we change k to g and becomes uyandığımda. It means when I woke up. Or when I wake up. Or whenever I wake up. Or at the moment that I woke up. I have used when actually uh, for all of them. But, you know, it changes when you go through the translation of different texts. Or you uh, just understand the semantics of phrases in the content, uh, context. We have ethic, im, de, we change k to r and it becomes ettiim de. Here, the sound of yumusha g is pronounced like y. So it is not ettiim de, it is ettiim de. It sounds like y. Like ye for yellow. Or let's say in Turkish, ye for yarn, ye uh, for use, ye for whatever, yukarı, yumurta. Okay. Again, we have this meaning when I did or when I do. Gallic. It becomes geldiğim de. Again, it is pronounced like y. When I came or whenever I come. Gittik. Changes to gittiğim de. When I went or when I go. Or the time that I am going to go. All of them can be used as a translation. Uh, it depends on the rest of the sentence of the context. Now here we are with some other examples. In these examples I have uh, included all the Subject pronouns and the conjugation suffix related to each of them. Let's see how they are going to mean. Ben yaptığımda means when I did. Sen yaptığında means when you did. O yaptığında means when he did. Biz yaptığımızda when we did. Siz yaptığınızda, when you did, onlar yaptıklarında, when they did. Okay, I have translated to past tense. Actually, it doesn't matter. It can mean the same for present, like when I do or whenever I do. And the list goes on. Ben yaptığım zaman, whenever I do, 
uh, here through my experience in um, like Turkish society, uh, I think they tend to um, have a meaning of whenever when they use zaman in this uh, combination. So I prefer to translate it like this. Uh, through time, you will understand that uh, it is really this way. Okay, sen yaptığın zaman means whenever you do. O yaptığı zaman, whenever he does. Biz yaptığımız zaman, whenever we do. Siz yaptığınız zaman, whenever you do. Onlar yaptıkları zaman, whenever they do. Ben yaptığım anda, the moment I do, or the moment I did, or the moment I am going to do. So the tense is not uh, obvious actually when this half sentence or this clause is here. We should... Um, know the rest of the sentence of the context so we can understand which tense it has to be translated or which has to be understood. Sen yaptığın anda, the moment you do, o yaptığı anda, the moment she does or he does, biz yaptığımız anda, the moment we do, siz yaptığınız anda, the moment you do in plural, um, Onlar yaptıkları anda, the moment they do. Ben uyuduğumda, when I sleep or when I slept or when I'm going to sleep. So I just wrote the simple present kind of meaning. Ben uyuduğumda. When you sleep, o uyuduğunda, when she sleeps, biz uyuduğumuzda, when we sleep, siz uyuduğunuzda, when you sleep, onlar uyuduklarında, when they sleep. Ben uyuduğum zaman, whenever I sleep, Sen uyuduğun zaman, whenever you sleep. O uyuduğu zaman, whenever she sleeps. Biz uyuduğumuz zaman, whenever we sleep. Siz uyuduğunuz zaman, whenever you sleep. Onlar uyudukları zaman, whenever they sleep. Ben uyuduğum anda, the moment I sleep. Or the moment I slept. Or the moment I am going to fall asleep. They, um, okay, sen uyuduğun anda, the moment you sleep, o uyuduğu anda, the moment she sleeps, biz uyuduğumuz anda, the moment we sleep, siz uyuduğunuz anda, the moment you sleep, Onlar uyudukları anda, the moment they sleep. Ben uyandığımda, when I wake up, sen uyandığında. When you wake up, o uyandığında. When she wakes up, biz uyandığımızda. When we wake up, siz uyandığınızda. When you wake up, onlar uyandıklarında, when they wake up. Ben uyandığım zaman, whenever I wake up. Sen uyandığın zaman, whenever you wake up. O uyandığı zaman, whenever she wakes up. Biz uyandığımız zaman, whenever we wake up. Siz uyandığınız zaman, whenever you wake up. Onlar uyandıkları zaman, whenever they wake up. Ben uyandığım anda, the moment I wake up, or I woke up, or I'm going to wake up, doesn't matter. 
sen uyandığın anda the moment you wake up, o uyandığı anda the moment she wakes up, biz uyandığımız anda the moment we wake up, siz uyandığınız anda the moment you wake up, plural. Onlar uyandıkları anda the moment they wake up. Ben ettiğimde, when I do, sen ettiğinde, when you do, o ettiğinde, when she does, biz ettiğimizde, when we do, siz ettiğinizde, okay, siz ettiğinizde, when you do, onlar ettiklerinde, when they do. Ben ettiğim zaman whenever I do and the list goes on. I'm just going to read the Turkish one. Sen ettiğin zaman o ettiği zaman biz ettiğimiz zaman siz ettiğiniz zaman onlar ettikleri zaman Okay, ben ettiğim anda, the moment I do, <gülüyor> sen ettiğin anda, o ettiği anda, biz ettiğimiz anda, siz ettiğiniz anda, onlar ettikleri anda. Okay, we have the verb git, go. Ben gittiğimde, when I went, or when I go, or when I'm going to go. Sen gittiğinde, o gittiğinde, biz gittiğimizde, siz gittiğinizde, onlar gittiklerinde. As I said before, no matter what tense is uh, used in your translation, you should understand it from the rest of the sentence. Here does not include any tense or time. Ben gittiğim zaman, sen gittiğin zaman, o gittiği zaman, biz gittiğimiz zaman, siz gittiğiniz zaman, onlar gittikleri zaman. Ben gittiğim anda, the moment I went, sen gittiğin anda, o gittiği anda, biz gittiğimiz anda, siz gittiğiniz anda, onlar gittikleri anda. Okay. Ben geldiğimde, we have the verb gel. When geldiğimde, when I came, or when I come, or when I'm going to be there. Sen git geldiğinde, o geldiğinde, biz geldiğimizde, siz geldiğinizde, onlar geldiklerinde. Ben geldiğim zaman, whenever I come or when I come, again, it is used as when or whenever, doesn't matter. Sen geldiğin zaman, o geldiği zaman, biz geldiğimiz zaman, siz geldiğiniz zaman, onlar geldikleri zaman. Okay, before this I told you, here we have this uh, zaman kind of combination with this uh, structure. Uh, we have the meaning of when or whenever. I mean, they use it for both. Ben geldiğim anda, the moment I come. Sen geldiğin anda, o geldiği anda. Biz geldiğimiz anda, siz geldiğiniz anda. 
onlar geldikleri anda. Okay, here we have a verb which I choose it only because of this u sound and this suffix. Üzülmek it me it means um, becoming sad or feeling sorry for somebody. Ben üzüldüğümde when I am sad sen üzüldüğünde when you are sad o üzüldüğünde biz üzüldüğümüzde siz üzüldüğünüzde onlar üzüldüklerinde. Okay. As I said before, it can be for a present tense or past tense. Doesn't make a difference. You will understand that out of context. In the context, I mean. Ben üzüldüğüm zaman sen üzüldüğün zaman, o üzüldüğü zaman, biz üzüldüğümüz zaman, siz üzüldüğünüz zaman, onlar üzüldükleri zaman. Ben üzüldüğüm anda, the moment I became sad, sen üzüldüğün anda, the moment you became sad, o üzüldüğü anda, biz üzüldüğümüz anda, siz üzüldüğünüz anda, onlar üzüldükleri anda. Okay. I think you have uh, enough examples right now uh, to understand how these phrases are used, how this combination works. And whenever you hear any of them, you will understand that uh, what the uh, person mean and what does the sentence mean and mm, yes I would like you to even write more examples in the comments and also uh, I hope this video was helpful for you so please like it. Your likes and comments will motivate me to create more videos for you. And I would appreciate if you do so. In the next video, I hope uh, it will come soon. Please uh, also comment on what exactly you want to learn and which parts of Turkish language is difficult for you. So I can concentrate more on those parts and put them in the priority list. Thank you so much. It's up to you if you subscribe. Uh, you will be notified whenever I uh, upload a video. If you click on the bell, but it's up to you. I don't course for having subscribers i just want you to learn and also share the video with anyone who needs it if it already benefited you let it benefit the others okay thank you so much have a nice day good luck